Hey everyone! So happy July 2nd it is today. I don't know if it'll be July 2nd when I post this video, but you never know. It is today, so happy July 2nd. I decided to do this um, video as two different things just because I didn't have much in the way of favorites from the month of June. I have a couple things, but at first I wasn't even going to make a video because I thought, what's the point? No one cares to see just a couple items. Um, but then I thought, well, I'll just throw it in with just some newer purchases, um, things. I haven't actually done a haul video and I don't even know how long because I don't, um, really go out and buy like a ton of makeup all at once. I usually pick up something here or there. So I just, um, just don't really ever end up doing that. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just never think of doing it. So I have a few things that I have purchased over the last couple of weeks that I'd like to show you. And then a couple of favorites from the month of June. So I hope you enjoy this and please keep watching. Starting with my favorites from June, I have my Chanel lipstick that I'm wearing right now. I've become obsessed with this color all over again. This is uh, one of their Rouge Coco Shines, number 55, called Romance. It is a beautiful um, pink red tone color. These are super, super um, creamy on the lips, but they definitely have like um, like a moisture-ness to it. I don't know how to explain it. but they just feel really, really nice and very comfortable on the lips. Next, I have my Physicians Formula Nude Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade mm, Touch of Glow, Nude Glow. I don't know, it's a light shade. I don't know if there's only the one shade, I don't really remember. And I wear this on days where I want to do really, really light, kind of like no makeup makeup, where I literally am putting some concealer on, which is this, and it actually looks really, really nice. It's very, very light, and it does give a little bit of like a highlight um, under the eye, it does brighten things up a little bit, and um, yeah, I just put that on just with the concealer and the spots I need it, maybe a, a touch powder, and that's kind of all I do. So for um, very, you know, light makeup um, application, this is great, and actually really like it. Next I have my Joe Fresh blush and this is in Pale Peach and this looks like absolutely nothing in the pan. Like you look at in here it kind of looks a little bit orangey and stuff but when you actually put it on the skin it does have like a pinky peach color to it. So it is a matte blush. Goes on really well. I'm wearing it to... No I'm not wearing it today. I was gonna put this on today and put something else on but anyways never mind. My bad. Um, I have been wearing this blush a lot again for kind of like those no makeup or really light um, makeup days. I've been wearing this and it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. It just gives um, just a bit of warmth to your cheeks without really like noticing like, oh, you've got a lot of blush on. It's just really pretty. My other favorite is this Rimmel Scandalize uh, Mascara in the shade Black. I typically do not like Rimmel mascaras whatsoever. I've tried them in the past and I've never liked any of them. So I'm kind of on a budget right now and um, I was going to get my Le Big Show but it's just under $11. Um, so I thought, okay, let's try something new. Like I still love that mascara but I thought I need to get something a little bit cheaper. Um, anyways, so I thought I would try this out. They were on for $5 at Walmart. And um, the reason I got it was for the massive brush. Um, if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know that I love like volume. Like I have fairly lengthy lashes, like I like the length of them. Um, so I don't go for any kind of lengthening mascara. I just go for like volume where it grabs every lash, separates and you know, looks great. Now I have it on right now. Probably not a good time to be saying how much I love this because, or not saying how much I love it, but giving me like a show because um, I cried a little bit ago. I cried everything. It was not bad tears. They were happy tears, but I, I, I cry. And, um, so I definitely, and I didn't fix up any of my makeup before I started this and so if I little, look a little off or things are a little spotty, I cried. Anyways, um, but the size of this wand, like I love the bristles. They're like, you know, the fibery kind of bristles, not silicone. So it really does like grab every lash. You put on one coat and you're like, oh wow, this is really nice. It's a nice mascara. You put on a second coat and you're like, holy crap, it almost looks like I have, like, almost, like you have false lashes on. Like, this is ridiculous. The last favorite that I have is on my Netflix. I have been watching a couple shows. I don't know if I mentioned Suits already in another previous video. I don't know, but I've watched all seasons, all four seasons. I know four just came out recently, but I may have had another way <laughs> of watching it. 
and um oh my gosh that show is so good like i love that show it was so addicting i was i think i went through all seasons in like a week just over like oh my gosh it's so good it's so clever and witty and like it just it's not boring ever it just you're like what it's crazy another show that i have started recently and i'm just starting the fourth and final season is prison break i know the show came out like forever ago but i just never watched it back then and my sister and brother-in-law were like okay hey, you have to watch the show it's like really really good and I'm like, holy crap, it's so good. These are my, now my haul things that I've got recently. I'm going to show you the really stupid, weird, you know, whatever. Um, not stupid or weird, but just the awkward kind of things. I mentioned in a video a while back that I always used to use the Venus razors. And then I switched and got a Chic Quattro or something like that to give it a try. And I was like, oh, it's like, it's nice and whatever. But at the end of the day, I ran out of those and I was like, oh, I'm going back to my Venus razors. The other little random thing is my Oral-B Satin Floss. Now the frustrating thing of life with this is my sister had like an Oral-B something like this in a little blue package and it was like, I think it was a, was it green, the floss inside? This is white, but it was like almost like kind of like a plasticky, was it green? I don't remember. It was kind of plasticky and I don't know, just like flowed through the teeth so nicely and I came across this. This is not the same. I'm so upset. Um, there was another one, I think, and it comes with, like, purple on the front. I don't even know. Anyways, I just really want that floss. And I thought it was this one because they're blue and it's not. But anyways, I needed floss desperately. So I picked up and it came in a pack of two. So now i got to use two of these. Makes me upset. I ran out of my Equate wipes, so I picked up um, a double pack. The other pack's already... Um, tucked away, but this is the other one. I just use the cleansing, uh, so Equate Cleansing and Makeup Removing Towelettes with Chamomile, Vitamin E, and Triple T Complex. I've been using these for years. I really like them. They do a great job. They're under $8 and you get 16 each, so that's $120 for like $8. An amazing deal. Get them at Walmart. Go pick yourself up some. I picked up this called Medi Skin 7 Day Facelift Retinol Serum smoother looking skin in one week. I don't necessarily know, necessarily know if I'm going to have or if I do have smoother skin in a week. I've had this probably close to a week now, but what I love about it um, is the retinol. Okay, well, for one, when you get retinol, apparently really, really does work to get rid of fine lines and wrinkles and really aid in that. Um, and this retinol is the fourth ingredient on this bottle. Um, which is amazing. Um, the higher you, that it is in the list, um, now it doesn't, um, the higher, sorry, I should finish my thought, I always do that. The higher it is in the list, um, it's, it's, it's better, right? Uh, it means there's more of that in there. Now, I still don't know how much retinol is in this bottle, but anyway, so I got this at Winners. I paid less than $10 for it. Comparable to online, I looked it up and it was like 40 something dollars, and I'm like, hmm. I hope I don't, I mean, I hope I like it, but then at the same point in time, I hope I don't really, really like it because I don't want to be paying like 40 something dollars for like this little jar. I like it. It's, it absorbs so quickly into the skin, which is amazing. It doesn't smell bad or anything. It hasn't irritated me, but I, I don't want to pay like 40 something dollars for it. Onto this mask. This is a Life brand. So I got it at Shoppers. Charcoal peel off mask. And um, I've used this a few times actually. I really like it. Um, I like the idea, like the, the peel off mask. You gotta put this on really thickly to get um, like the mask, but it'll literally peel off in like one sheet. You might get the odd little spot here or there left over, but it literally just peels off an entire sheet. And then you can like hold it up and you see your eye holes and nose and mouth. It's just kind of funny. Anyways, um, so it does take a long time to dry on the face, but that's okay. Um, so the only thing that I've noticed recently is the product is coming out and building up in the cap. Okay, it's all dried up there. But anyways, it's been coming out like, well, I guess in here in the tube. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, I should really get rid of this. See, it's peely. So I don't know why it's coming out into the tube. I don't really like that, but it hasn't like come out and overflowed yet. So I don't know. Anyways, but I got that. From the last month's video, May Favorites may favorites that I was obsessed with my cuticle oil I've purchased did I mention that I already bought another one of it I don't know 
Anyways, I, I bought another one. It's the New Bar Cuticle Oil in Sweet Almond. And I'm getting like really close. I've probably got like not much left of my other jar. I needed a new like beauty blender or beauty sponge. And I picked this one up um, at Loblaws in the Joe Fresh um, makeup collection area. Now it says $10 for this sponge, which I would never pay because you can get the Real Techniques ones for like $8. You can go to Winners and get for like $5.99, $6.99, get the sponge. That's where I, I had my one from before, but I've had it a long time and it's starting to like, the, the sponge is starting to like break up in a few spots. So I thought it's time to get a new one. And normally I wouldn't go for white, but I think the white's pretty, but I'm sure after I use it once, I'm gonna be like, oh, white, but they only had white. Anyways, but they had like a big um, like sale on or a clearance or something. Was it clearance? No, it was a sale. It was a sale on this. So I got it for like less than $5. So that's why I picked that up. So I am hoping that this works just as well as the other makeup sponge that I had. Someday I will try the Beauty Blender, but for like $25, I'm sorry, like they used to be like 20, I think, now they're 25. I don't know, it's just a lot of money. I've heard that it's, you know, it's the best, the best, but maybe when I have a bigger budget to spend, then perhaps I will. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be buying the cheaper versions because um, it works well and I, I like them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one works really well too. All right, Joe Fresh was also having a clearance on a bunch of other things. And I picked up this um, Joe Fresh Sheer Tint Oil-Free, um, like a tinted moisturizer basically and I don't know what the shade haha <laughs> okay this is funny it's porcelain right here I just thought to look here right now I like that it's a, uh, a pump and this I don't know what the regular price was but I got this for two dollars and 94 cents something like that so uh i'm looking forward to trying this i've been watching um kathleen lights here on youtube a lot of her videos and she had this video where she was talking about all these elf products that she really 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 likes and um it's funny because i've been wanting to get a few new brushes and things myself and um i thought what the heck she was going on and on about how some of these are really really good like the elf studio line of brushes certain ones and um, I thought, yeah, you know what? There's, you can get them at Loblaws, like the Superstore. Um, they have a very small collection of e.l.f. products. Otherwise, you get the them online. I don't know of any other place in Canada that you can get them. Um, they did have it at Target, but that's gone now. I thought I would pick up two of the items because I was actually just gonna order them online and then I thought, why don't I just go into Loblaws, see what they have, you know, and uh, I am like, I used them today for the first time and I am like super impressed and like so excited and happy about these. So they're $4 each, which is an incredible deal. You can tell when you like hold them, they are lighter. You can tell this is probably like, this is not wood. It's probably some sort of plastic, like the bottom part of the brush here. So they are really light, um, you know, whatever. But the bristles are actually so incredibly soft. I bought this um, Fleur de Force here on YouTube as well. She uses um, some sort of like a stipply kind of duo fiber brush to put her foundation on and I just thought, hmm, you know what, like I'm kind of getting tired of this couple brushes that I have for foundation and I wanted to try something else and I have no idea what type of her brush, brush was so I thought I want to try something like it. So this was again four dollars and this is the small stipple brush and it's so incredibly soft and it's like amazing. You could probably use this for like putting on any kind of like cream blush, bronzers, highlighters, anything like that, any kind of like creamy products. And it just honestly, it worked so well. The other one that I got was the e.l.f. blush brush. And um, I love my Real Techniques brush, but I've been wanting to get something a little bit smaller. I used to have that Quo contour brush that I used for my blush. I gave it to my mom because she didn't have a brush. And um, I've been kind of regretting it. I've been wanting something a bit smaller. So I picked this up to try it out for blush. But I, today what I used it for was my highlighter. And it was so nice for my highlighter. So I don't know if I might like pick up two. One for highlighter and one for blush. I did come across Becca um, eyeshadow. And this is um, one of their Demi Matte Powders eyeshadows. This is called Doe Skin. And I wore this the other day. It's really pretty. Okay, for starters, look how cute and tiny this little thing is. Okay, it comes with a little tiny mirror, which is super cute. And I just got um, one of the most basic colors. I liked this kind of like cool ashy brown color. I thought um, it would look really, really nice um, 
for running through my crease and stuff and putting it like under my lower um, lash line and uh, it's actually okay um, so I really need to finish one thought um, they were really it was actually sorry it was gonna say it's actually a really nice shadow very pigmented never tried anything by Becca before so I was super impressed and this was $6.99. $6.99, which I was like, what? Because I think it said it compared to like $24 or something like that. So I was like, that's an incredible deal. And they still had some today, but I was like, I don't need any more eyeshadow. I do have a lot. So um, I'm happy I picked the shade up because like I said, it's really, really pretty. And recently I picked up this, the Maybelline, the blush nudes. I have two of their other palettes. I have just like the original nudes and I have the brights. I do not want to purchase the smoky. I'm not super into a lot of blue eyeshadows and silvery grays. It's just not my thing. So I don't plan on buying that. But ever since I saw this one a couple months ago, I think I've been like dying to pick it up. And I really didn't think it was coming to Canada at all. And I was in Walmart the other day and they had it and I was like, what? Though, the only thing is, is now they're $12.96. They used to be $10.96 for one of these bad boys. It's $12.96, so I don't like that. While I was at um, La Blas, I went to the Joe Fresh section. I was went to the clearance section because I love getting a deal. I love having a coupon, getting a sale, getting, like, just, you know, who doesn't love a deal? Anyways, so I got this really pretty pink sweater and um it was like I said it was on clearance and I absolutely love it it was regular $30 on for $7 or just over seven I guess and um it's just so pretty it's just such a nice light um blush pale pink and I know it's a sweater I don't need it for the summer but you know fall and things are you know to be honest like we're like what three months away probably which is not that long so um it just was really pretty i i really liked it i like the color i like the how it fits and it was just really nice and comfy and to get it for like seven dollars you can't beat that whilst at winners i picked up um you can tell where i like shopping <laughs> winners um i picked up this really pretty um a little wrinkle in it right now but um blue top it's from the brand arve bendar i don't know never heard of it before um but it's really pretty kind of like an antique blue color sleeveless and it's got like an extra layer on top the back is super cute it's got like this little i don't know flappy thing going on i don't know it's it's kind of long it's a bit longer in the back uh, just really really pretty i love it for my skin tone i've never actually worn anything like or had anything this color before and it just looks so pretty and another one that i got at winners the same day is the kind of like antique dusty light pink kind of like my sweater actually very very similar so it's similar in the way that like the material is the same i don't know what kind of material it is but it's just the really nice light flowy stuff and um it's got this little panel at the front if you turn around, it's got a cute little button at the top here and those big wing things going on at the back. And at first I was kind of like, I don't know if I, if I like that, but it's actually really pretty, very feminine. Um, this is a Kenneth Cole, I think. I still have the tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. Yeah, it's the Kenneth Cole reaction. I love it. It's so pretty and um, I don't have a lot of pink. That's how I justify buying things. Like, oh, I don't have a top in that kind of color. I think we all do that, don't we? Last but not least, least I was in the dollar store and I picked myself up a little treat. I've had these before and they are ridiculously good. These are the Brookside Dark Chocolate Acai and Blueberry flavors. Um, but they are, um, it's a soft fruit covered center, soft, soft fruit flavored centers covered in smooth dark chocolate. Like these are not cheap chocolate and they're really, really good. So I had to get a little treat and who is at the house? Okay, so <laughs> people here at my house now, so thank goodness I'm actually finished and I'm gonna have to really edit this video down. I'm such a talker. Anyways, um, but yes, thank you so much for um, watching and subscribing. I really appreciate uh, everyone taking the time out of their day to watch my videos. I really do. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram or Twitter. Um, Allison Flies, same name as my YouTube. And uh, I always post lots of pictures and things on there. And um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. So um, yesterday was Canada Day. So... Happy Canada Day to everybody, belated, and um, I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.